So let's just take about five minutes here and let's do a really quick review of trig. This is something that hopefully you learned back in geometry, um, if not in another class since then. The, the big thing from trig that you have to remember is so ka toa. Okay, now hopefully your geometry teacher you, taught you that. Lots of ways to remember it. You know, you can remember it as the Indian rain dance. Sokatoa, sokatoa, sokatoa. You can remember that you don't want to suck your toe. You want to sokatoa. Uh, you can think of it as, you know, some big Japanese monster guy, kind of like Godzilla, right? And all the people, little people running away. You can imagine their their voices being dubbed over. Oh no, it's Sokatoa! It's Sokatoa! Run for your lives! Right? So, whatever you need. But that's that's what you need to remember for trig. Now, what those mean, that the so means that the sine of an angle is equal to the opposite side of the triangle over the hypotenuse of the triangle. Ka stands for cosine is equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse and tangent means that is equal to the opposite over the adjacent. Okay, now to be able to do this you have to be talking about a right triangle. Okay, so there has to be a right angle and then you have to be focused in particular on one of the angles. Okay, you can't just do it at random. You have to say, okay, this is the angle I'm focusing on. Okay, the opposite side would be this one over here. The adjacent side is the side that's not the hypotenuse that's right next to the angle. So this would be the adjacent side. And then the longest side of the triangle, the one that's opposite the 90 degrees, that's always the hypotenuse. Okay, so you'll use those sides. From this, you can find an angle if you know the lengths. You can also find one of the missing lengths if you know what the angle is. Okay, so let's do a couple of examples here. This is going to be really important for a lot of the beginning of the year. Okay, so let's look at example number four on, on page six of your text. Okay, it says that on a sunny day, a tall building casts a shadow that is 67.2 meters long. Okay, so here is my tall building. How do I know it's tall? Well, there's my little people down there. Okay, and it says that sh the shadow is 67.2 meters long. All right, the angle between the sun's rays and the ground is... 50 degrees. And so if you got the sun up here and the sun goes and that's why there's a shadow down there, right? Because the sun's getting blocked from this stuff. It just goes down like that. It says the angle with the rays in the ground is 50 degrees. Okay, so the question asks determine the height of the building. Okay, so what I need to do is I need to decide which of my trig functions I need. Okay, so I'm going to look at my angle. I have the adjacent side, right? This one, here's my right angle, okay? So opposite that would be the hypotenuse, okay? I'm given the side that's touching the angle, so that's the adjacent side, right? And the side that's opposite is the height of the building, okay? Now I'm given the adjacent, and I want to find the opposite. So which of my trig functions relates adjacent and opposite? Hopefully you said tangent, so I know that the tangent of my angle is equal to the opposite over the adjacent, right? And so now I just have to put the numbers in. 50 degrees is my angle, so the tangent of 50 is equal to the opposite side, which is my x, over the adjacent, which is 67.2, okay? And now I need to get x by itself, so how do I get x by itself? Well, right here I've got x divided by 67.2, so I need to multiply both sides by 67.2. Okay, now you have to make sure that you multiply the whole thing by 67.2, because this right here is a function that has to occur. You cannot multiply 67.2 times the 50. 
Okay, so let's go into our calculator here. Let's find out what the tangent of 50 is. The tangent of 50 is 1.191, and then we're going to multiply that by 67.2. Okay, and our final answer is 80.0 feet. Or, sorry, not feet, it's in meters there. Okay, so it's important that you choose the right units. Okay, so uh, 